Eagles Nest. Just a couple of reminders for you today before we get started with a couple of things on morning announcements. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds this morning to make sure that you are focused up on the screen this morning, that you do not have any side conversations going on, that you are focused on the speaker, which is me this morning, and you are locked into morning announcements. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to gather yourself this morning and make sure that all across the building that you are focused in on announcements. Make sure, scholars, that throughout morning announcements that you are locked in, right? We do morning announcements to make sure that you're getting up-to-date information and so that we can roll through a couple of uh, fun things on morning announcements and some things that I want you to learn, but you got to make sure you're listening up for those. So a couple of reminders, and there's one on here as well that I want you to hear and that uh, that is not listed on here, so make sure you're listening carefully to these. First things first, um, you have a couple of things, right, coming up. you got a book fair. Right. The book fair will be October 10th through October 14th. So that is next week. So that starts on Monday. Uh, next Monday, we will be having the book fair in the media center. Also, yesterday, you should have received a picture form from your teacher. If you did not receive one, please ask them. But you should have received a fall picture form. Those pictures are happening on Friday. So on Friday here in the Eagle's Nest, we will have pictures happening. So make sure that if you want to purchase pictures, you have that form. So you need to grab one of those from your teacher. If your teacher already gave you one and you've already lost it, then you need to come to the front office at a time that your teacher allows you to do so, and you need to get another one then. So picture forms are out, and those are happening on Friday. Also, two other announcements. First things first, hey, scholars, so we've got a lot of field trips coming up. Uh, those will start back in the month of October and go all the way to the month of May, right? We're going to be able to take a lot of field trips this year and every grade level doing different things like uh, the Children's Museum, the Science Center. We've got a lot of fun things planned for you, but I need you to hear something. If you're not getting the job done inside your classroom, I'm not going to send you outside of the school, right? Your job is to fix everything and make it happen inside the classroom. If you're not following the Fairview 5 inside of your classroom, that means you're not going to follow it outside the classroom either. So I want to make sure that you know that to be able to go on a field trip, you got to do the right thing here at school. OK, so make sure that if that's you, that you're saying to yourself, OK, I might need to fix a couple of things. Well, guess what? You still have some time to do that, right? So make sure you're following the Fairview 5 and also that you're doing everything you can to be an elite scholar each day. Right. Um, and so also, last but not least, it is not on here, but I want to make a quick announcement about one cards. So if scholars, if you have a one card, right, if you're new to us and you don't have a one card yet, that is totally OK. Miss Mayhan will snap a picture of you and get you a one card quickly. But for a lot of you, you have your one cards and you are choosing not to wear those. Well, that's not a good thing in the seagull's nest, right? So if you have your one card, I need you to begin wearing that immediately, right? I talked to a couple scholars today. Oh, it's at home. It's in my book bag. It's in my uh, it's in my pocket. It needs to be out and worn each and every day. That really helps with check-in process in the morning. And it's also a good thing, right? All of the staff wears a badge, so you need to wear one as well. If you're one of my scholars that helps me out, Mr. Battle, or helps us out in the car rider line and all that kind of stuff each and every day, and you do not have your one card, you're not going to be able to help us out anymore because leaders are always following directions. And so with that, good leadership is having your one card. So if you have your one card, that needs to be around your neck. If you left it at home, I got good news. Tomorrow we don't have school, so you can spend the day finding it and then bringing it on Thursday. So that's my last announcement for today. With that Thursday, we are back in school. Tomorrow we have a teacher work day, so scholars looking forward to seeing you back in the Eagle's Nest on Thursday after today. Let's make sure that we're following the Fairview 5 today, right? We're actively listening to the speaker. We're keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. We're cleaning up our area. We're being kind to others with our words and actions, and we are doing our best daily. These five things, scholars, this is what puts us together here in the Eagle's Nest and makes you an elite scholar. Knowing these things is one thing. Doing these things every day is the other. An elite scholar does these things every single day, so that's what I'm looking for. So your next Class Dojo store is on October 27th. And on October 27th, we're going to make sure that you have 100 points to be able to go into the Class Dojo store. And I will tell you, 
There's going to be a, a couple of new things in the dojo store, but they're going to be they're going to cost quite a bit of points. But with that, you should have those points by then. So you're not losing points each day. You are gaining those points by doing the right thing each and every day inside your classroom, also in the hallways as well, making sure that you have at least 100 points on October 27th. So let me give you an example. If you have 101 points on October 27th, you will be able to get into the store. If you have 100 points, you will be able to get into the store. If you have 99 points, good job, but you're not coming to the store. So you have to have at least 100 points to enter into the dojo store. And guess what? That goal may rise in November. So you got to continue to do the right thing each and every day in the Eagle's Nest so that we can reward you for doing great things. So we've been talking about Hispanic Heritage Month um, all month long here in the Eagle's Nest. And today I want to briefly shout out Ellen Ochoa. So there's a picture of Ellen Ochoa, and you could probably do some inferencing just based off the picture there with her suit that she's wearing, and then you see a rocket ship in the background. So if I asked you what do you think she was or is, you would say astronaut. That is correct, right? So Ellen Ochoa was the first Hispanic woman to go to space, so physically in space, in the rocket uh, outside the atmosphere into space. She served on a nine-day mission aboard the space shuttle Discovery, and that was in 1993. Ellen Ochoa also became the director of the Johnson Space Center in 2012, a place where they continue research on space and different places like Mars and everything in our atmosphere. She's also received many awards. She's uh, received the NASA's Distinguished Service Medal, Outstanding Leadership Medal, and several more. And she's part of the International Air and Space Hall of Fame. There's a Hall of Fame for just about everything. And that means that you are the best at what you do. And Ellen Ochoa clearly was one of the best at what she does. So we uh, celebrate her today as being one of the first Hispanic or being the first, excuse me, Hispanic woman in space in 1993. So we'll continue our study tomorrow um, by highlighting somebody, but I want to show you something that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks here in the Eagle's Nest. So we've got two different, um, two different things coming up and I've got the dates coming up so you can see. So beginning on October 6th, through October 18th, we're working on this right over here, right? Start going back to the basics. So I'm really excited about back to the basics. So just to give you a little uh, a little snippet about what that's going to be, right? So you could be the strongest person. Uh, you could be uh, super fast. But if you can't dribble a basketball, the basics of dribbling a basketball, you're probably not going to be a great basketball player, right? So the basics every single day, showing up on time, following the Fairview Five, doing the right thing, being kind. So we're going to start back with the basics, October 6th through October 18th. And I'm going to give you actionable things that you can do every single day in the Eagle's Nest to be a fantastic and elite scholar. And then right above me here um, in late October, all the way into November, we're going to talk about what it is to be a great teammate. So you got to know the basics and then you can be a great teammate, right? So for the next month here on Morning Announcements, I'm excited about some of the stuff that we're gonna be talking about. And each day, scholars, whether you're in pre-K or fifth grade, you'll have something to take away that you can do that day and that week, every single day in the Eagle's Nest. So looking forward to that. But before we leave today for Morning Announcements, I wanna ask you a couple of questions. So, and you're not answering these out loud, I just want you to think about these because these are going to be the three questions at the end of our two units. And if you saw, let me go back and show you that date right there. November 2nd is when we're going to end everything on announcements with these two units. So at the end of November 2nd, you should be able to answer these questions out loud, right? But today I just want you to think about them to yourself before, uh, before we end announcements this morning. So once again, you're not answering these out loud, but these are just three that I want you to think about before we end our time today. And so the first question is, what kind of scholar do you want to be each day? All right, what kind of scholar do you want to be each day? Now, if you're thinking about that question already and you're like, man, I don't know, what could be a good example of that? Well, good. I'm glad you're already thinking about that because we're going to start talking about that Thursday when you're back in the Eagle's Nest. Remember, these are the three guiding questions, so you don't have to know the answers right now, 
but and everybody's answer is going to be different. But I just want you to begin thinking, what kind of scholar do you want to be each day? Do you want to be a scholar that is actively listening and participating every single day? Do you want to be a scholar that's in the front office all the time that doesn't have recess time or specials time? What kind of scholar do you want to be each day? The second question is when a teacher or a staff member is talking about you or discussing you, what do you hope they say about you? What do you hope that they say about you? Hey, I'll tell you, man, I hope when other people talk about me, I hope they say, Mr. Hagee, he's great, right? He's good. Hey, sometimes Mr. Hagee makes mistakes, but you know what? Mr. Hagee tries hard every single day. I hope they say the same thing about you. That's what I would want them to say each day about you. But guess what? You get to determine, right, what other people are determining about you. So we'll talk about that uh, more so in the next couple of weeks as well. And last but not least, this is a big one, scholars. How are you getting better each and every day? A lot of times we think, well, I'm only in kindergarten. I'm only in third grade. I'm only in fifth grade. I, you know, I still got plenty of time to get better. He said, well, I'll tell you this. Every day is an absolute blessing. So with that, I want to wake up every single day and I want to get better somehow and in some way. So over the next month, I'm going to give you every single day an opportunity on how you can get better as a scholar, whether you're five years old or whether you're 11 years old. You can get better each and every day. So those are our three questions that I'll put in front of you every single day over the next month and we're going to continue to think about those as we go back to the basics and as we become a great teammate hey at 740 looking forward to seeing you in action today it's going to be a great day in the eagle's nest i'm excited we've got a couple visitors in the eagle's nest today we're going to be walking around seeing some people in action today high-fiving our awesome scholars and saying hello to you i hope that you have a fantastic day in the eagle's nest remember good is good great is great but elite is elite have a fantastic day in the eagle's nest